I haven't been this excited about a setup motors in a long time. So we are gonna do an unboxing. But before we get there, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a story as to why I have these. So first of all, uh, this is a video about Xnova motors. And specifically in 1804, I'll tell you the KV in a second. There is a little bit of background to this video and it is these 2204, 2400 KV motors that I have been running on, 4, on 5S on this quad. I'm busy editing this video and I don't know how many times I called the 2204 motors 2400 KV. They're actually 2350 KV. It's the, the 1804s are the ones that are 2400 KV. So just mental note, because I mentioned it a bunch of times in this video, anytime I say 2204, 2400 KV, they're actually the 2350 KV, just so you know. So you want to check that video. This video is here. Shoot. Now, at some point, go watch that because it will give you a little bit more detail as to what's going on here, okay? Now, here it's what's going on. I'll tell you a little bit about it. This 2204 motor in that video, which is 2400 KV, when you convert it to a 4S setup, it will be 3000 KV. So 3000 KV equates to 2400 KV on 5S. But I'm running a 1000 milliamp hour 5S. And the reason for that is because being a 2204 motor, it does pull a lot of amps. So I can't really run anything smaller um, because otherwise I can't complete a race, a two minute race. Now. This setup really flies very well, but it does have a downside. It is a little bit heavy for a four inch quad because this is a 165 gram pack. These 2204 motors are light compared to 2207, but the quad itself completely is a little heavy. It does fly very well, but it lacks a little bit of the agility that some of the four inch quads have, like something that weighs what this weighs. Now, turning over to this quad, um, this quad here has 1507, 2800 KV. And the reason I got these on there is because I also wanted to run a 5S, but I couldn't find a motor that has low enough KV. So if you think about a 2800 KV equates to, on, on 5S, equates to 3500 KV on 4S, which is this motor. This is the 1804 X Nova. 3500 KV. Now the very interesting point with all these is that I pull the same amount of amps. So basically this thing, it's pulling the same amps as far as eating the battery up as these other quads are. So basically, if you think about it, this 2204, 2400 KV on 5S is pulling exactly the same amps as this one on 5S with the 1507s. It's 58 amps. I already got it. So if you think about it, this motor's smaller, this motor's bigger, but they pull the same amps. So I end up having to run this big heavy battery. Now, this setup works better because the torque allows me to control this battery just fine, even though it's heavier than I'd like it to be. This guy here just doesn't work just right because these motors don't have the torque to push such a big battery, which is where this one comes in. This is an RDQ 850 milliamp hour battery, which is 5S, and it's about 130 grams. So it's about 30 to 35 grams less than this. A great weight. However, because both of these quads pull so many amps, 58 amps, it is not big enough. So there's a dilemma. This battery is needed to fly these quads in a race, but it's too heavy. This one is the weight I want, but it's too small a battery for these motors. So, this one on 4S has the same problem. I can't complete a race because it kills the battery. 3500 KV for a 4 inch quad is too much. So, what do we have here that's gonna solve this and the reason I'm so excited? This has taken a lot of trial and error. I've been working on this for a couple of months already, trying different motors, different combinations. And by the way, these are running KISS CCs, which are rated for 4S but I've been running 5S on them just fine with a 470 microfarad cap on it, 35 volt, and it hasn't burnt. So that's good news. And these are hyper low RSs. However, this one has the standard five millimeter arms that Richard has, sells on his site, and these has the earlier four millimeter arms on it, 
which I asked him for the five millimeter arms because I like the stiffness. But every once in a while, it's nice to lose the weight that these are about 12 grams less total overall. But anyway, let's do the unboxing. So I'll tell you what this is. Look at that. He has my name on him. So, I'll tell you a little story. X Nova has sent released this motor yet. I'm pretty sure I can post a video about it. I'll ask them anyway. But this was a result of a direct conversation with the uh, upper management at X Nova. They sent me this motor to test it out. And what it is, is the same. 1804 size, which is a very, very unique size because it has the width and the torque, but the lower top end, so um, uh, like a, an 07 motor, which is a lot taller. So it's, they are moderate in amp pool. The problem is the uh, KV of this is way too high. Now, this motor right here is the same motor. The only difference is that it's 2400 KV. So this motor is the same KV as the 2204s that I've been running, but they are smaller, so they will pull less amps, and they're lighter. This motor here is about 22 grams, and this motor here is a little over 15 grams. So if we do the math, we're talking about 20 something, 23 to 24 grams overall weight loss on the quad which is substantial in a four inch quad. But the most important bit is that to run this motor, even though I haven't tested it yet, and we'll find out at the end of this video, I can run and should be able to run the 850 milliamp hour 5S. So this will be 5S setup through a smaller motor with the KCC on this quad, which I'm gonna remove these. And on top of that, I'm gonna find a couple other ways to save some weight. I'm gonna run an MMCX antenna coming out of here to save some weight there and lighter straps likely and that should do quite a bit because there's not a whole lot more that I can do for lowering weight of this guy. So the theory is the following. I can run light, a, a lighter motor that's about the same weight as these with 5S with a smaller battery which is 130 grams on an overall lighter quad. As far as I know there is no other combination on the market like this. Not a lot of people fly 4-inch quads, but I love them. And they can actually be very competitive, sometimes against 5-inch quads, depending on the track. But overall, they're just really fun. They're easy to fly. And, and for you guys that are starting to get into racing, they're an excellent, excellent alternative because they are easy to fly. They're a lot more nimble. You crash them less. You can take more risk. You go faster around corners. And... Um, they're, they're just a lot easier to control than the heavier 5-inch quads. Now, I'm shooting this. I haven't flown it yet. I'm hoping to put the video together with everything. So hopefully by the time this video is done, toward now, you'll be able to see the footage. And I'll likely put in a conclusion as to whether this worked or not. But based on experience and the, all the testing I've done, I am pretty sure this is going to work. And if it does, I'm going to convert them all to this motor. So thank you XNOVA for the motors. If this works, I'll make sure like, to get more of them. Okay, uh, I want to give you a little bit more detail about this mortar. 
not simply talk to you about app draw and all that kind of stuff. Um, the motor is pretty simple actually. It's uh, an 1804, so it's pretty wide compared to how high it is. Although 2204 is pretty common, but normally smaller motors tend to be very tall, you know, like 1407, there's a 1408, 1507, 1606. So, as far as I know, there's no other motor that has such a, you know, shallow stator but wide compared to it in terms of smaller than 22. Um, the motor has a very very nice machining in aluminum. It has an aluminum shaft. There's none of that separate shaft thing in this size. Uh, but just like other Xnova motors, the quality is pretty outstanding. This one here is the older 1804-3500 kV that I'm replacing with the new one that I just got sent that is the um, 2400 kV that I intend to run on 5S. The nice thing about this motor is like it has on the bell this little spikes there that really make it so that when you hit something the props don't go spinning around they'll go loose they kind of like it these actually bite into the the prop plastic just fine and it holds them in place so you don't have to make the nuts that tight um, if you look underneath this one has m2 hardware but the new motor has m3 the odd thing about it is the spacing, I think it's exactly the same. Well, actually, we're going to find that, that out now because I was pretty curious about that myself. So, this one here, the original 1804, is a 12 millimeter spacing, I'm sure, at M2. But the new motor is also 12, which I found it kind of interesting that they chose to do this because in reality there is, there are no frames that I'm aware of that have an M3 hole for a 12 millimeter spacing so even though I like it because I prefer the M3 holes because maybe because they're stronger it's gonna be interesting um, finding a frame that'll fit and most likely it's not an issue of finding the frame it's gonna be an issue of having to drill it it's just a matter of having to drill the M3 holes bigger to M3, which is fine on some frames. On some that have a, like a keyhole, it's trigger, tricky because you can't just drill. You're going to have to grind it a little bit. Otherwise, it will just uh, shift. Uh, but anyway, I'm sure that there won't be a problem. I'll get to that. Um, down here, we have a circlip. Just about all motors in this size have a circlip because the shaft is not wide enough to have a screw in it and i believe they are i don't even know what the shaft size is i'm not even gonna enter there so you guys got have to look that up but yeah i mean even at this size i can see there it's got curved magnets very very tight uh, air gap at all really so it's basically an all the new bells and whistles motor just in a small size it even has on the naked base here it has a little channel with a tab to hold the wires down so that they don't get yanked out which I've seen this on some brother hobby motors but a lot of them don't have it and it's kind of nice to have in my opinion please thumbs up on this video if you liked it subscribe share it and you got buddy you know that flies for inch quads this is probably a very good alternative so have share it with them uh to, to you know so they can they can see the setup I, i'm pretty sure it's going to be a winner until next time